paint all areas to be green with a base coat of Caliban green. And take particular note that on the rifle barrels to paint the edges around in Caliban green as well as a first edge highlight. This is to build up a glowing effect in the later stages. The next colour is Warpstone Glow and this is used in a couple of different ways. For the barrel of the gun to paint the entirety of the orbs in the centre with this colour. For the power coils to paint the entirety of the raised elements leaving the recessed parts in the Caliban Green. Around the barrels to use this as an edge highlight, thinner than the Caliban Green to start the glow effect. And then to paint it as an overall layer over the piping on the outside of the gun. Next, using Moot Green, paint a large circle in the centre of the orbs on the rifle. Paint the centre part of the coils, and by that I mean the part where it kind of turns at an angle. The other option would be to make the glow appear to come from the central area, but I prefer the look where you get a glow effect on both parts of the power coils. Using a thinner brush, then do edge highlighting around the barrel of the Gauss rifle using the paint as thin as possible to hopefully show some of the previous layers in addition to this newer, brighter colour. An additional step you can take is to use a mix of Uriel Yellow and Moot Green to paint a smaller area on the orbs and a smaller area on the centre part of the power coils. Doesn't add a huge amount to the effect but makes the transition a bit more subtle. Also, in the middle of lockdown, what else are you going to do? Final colour then is Uriel Yellow. Um, this is used to do dot highlights on the sharp corners of the casing of the rifle. And the dot highlights in this strong yellow color emphasize the lighting effect. In addition, this color is used to paint the very center of the orbs and the very center of the elements of the power coils. Note that in this example, I didn't take the cabling on the front of the gun past the moot green kind of glazing layer. Um, some people use this as also a glow effect, but I find the subtle green on the cabling makes the effect on the power coil and the rifle barrel pop even more. Um, but if you'd like, you could use these steps to continue to highlight the cable as well. And this is the finished result. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and checking out a few other videos I've done, um, both covering smaller videos on parts of models and then some longer form videos on completing models start to finish. Thank you.